between SRK and Karan, who made the first move to break the ice. Salman Khan's ludicrous piece of advice to newcomer Atiya Shetty. Why did Ranbir turn down Sujit Sirkar? Hey guys, and welcome to 9xc.com the show. I'm Caitlin, and we are making a pit stop in Bollywood to talk all things filmy. I'm hot, you're not. I'm a superstar. I'm a superstar. First up, all's good in the hood. Shah Rukh Khan and Karan Johar are back to being buddies. Proverbial hugs have been exchanged and the two are singing Ye Dosti Hum Nahi Chodenge. In a no holds barred interview, Karan poured his heart out to our entertainment editor, Vicky Larwani. Karan let it out that he was the first one who took the step to reunite with Shah Rukh professionally. Though both were dignified not to wash their dirty linen in public and blame it on egos and misunderstandings, things had gone sour between them. The two did not collaborate after My Name Is Khan, which released back in 2010. But clearly, there was no love lost. In Karan's words, Working with him is always a personal experience more than a professional one. And when Gauri came to me with the film and she really thought Shah Rukh was the best casting for her film, I went across, he loved it, he loved the film, he loved the script and he agreed to be on board and we came on board, we all came on board as producers, Gauri, Shah Rukh and me. We here at 9XC were the first to tell you about this collaboration. Karan is very excited and we hear that the two have signed a three film deal. Karan ideally doesn't want their collaboration to be limited to that number. He wants to keep making cinema with his Jigri Dost. Hopefully, I, hopefully there are 10 more. Why two more? Hmm. Shah Rukh is family to me. I've always said that on record and felt it every bit of it. Shah Rukh is uh, Red Chilis and Dharma have been emotionally in integrated even on Student of the Year, which was three years ago. And uh, Shah Rukh for me is family. We did try to probe the filmmaker a little more on this Magnum collaboration, but this is all he would say. I, I will leave, as I said, those discussions to Gauri. I'm a producer on the film and a very proud producer because I absolutely love the screenplay. All I can say is that when you see the film, you will completely understand why these two characters have been cast. As and when Gauri decides to open the floodgates of information on the SRK and Alia Stara, 9xc.com the show will be the first one to bring it to you. It'll be interesting to see Shah Rukh and Karan collaborate after a long gap. Five years is not a short period, guys. Coffee for thought, anyone? Yep, join in the conversation about SRK and Karan's patch up. Tweet to us at 9 the show using hashtag Karan SRK friends again or talk to us on facebook.com slash 9 xc Moving on to our next story, Salman Khan is launching Atiya Shetty in his production Hero and he had a piece of advice to offer the newcomer. <laughs> Don't work with established senior actors, he told her. Go for the younger ones, he said. Two words, ludicrous and insane. To begin with, Salman himself has been acting with either heroines who are way younger than him or who are newcomers. Karina being the only exception. pull out the industry's recent report card, all of Salman's movies line up in the 100 crore club. If acting with younger heroines works for a senior actor like him, how could the equation change when put the other way around? Hmm, haati ke daat khane ke aur, dikhane ke aur. Should Sunil Shetty's daughter take her mentor's advice seriously? Hame aisa nahi lagta. While a look at Alia and Shraddha's filmography does reveal that working with young co-stars work just fine, they have proved their acting chops with each successive film. Also, they have been lucky to have projects like Highway and Ape Villain come their way. How can Bhaijan assume ki Atiya ka filmi graf bhi Alia aur Shraddha ki tarah hoga? After all, everyone comes with their own share of luck, right? <laughs> Working with younger stars also limits young Atiya's choice of co-stars. While Ranveer Singh and Ranveer Kapoor at this stage will not work with a newbie, others like Varun Dhawan have proved their mettle and are happier making movies with Alia and Shraddha. So where would that leave Atiya? Should we even mention the limited list of heroes she'll be left with? We strongly believe that script, banner and director are important considerations while zeroing in on a movie. Young or not, they are the true heroes in a winning movie. 
stars we say don't hesitate to act with elder stars. After all, Deepika, Anushka, Sonakshi and Katrina must have done something right in the last few years. They all worked opposite bigger and more established heroes. That's why they are where they are today. We agree they had the acting talent to boot, but their co-stars did play an important role in making them realize their champagne wishes and caviar dreams. Mr. Salman Khan, we hope you've tuned in. Join in on the conversation, tweet to us at 9 the show using hashtag Salman's advice to Atya or talk to us on facebook.com slash 9 xc Moving on, let's talk about Bariniti and her McDreamy on their vacation. Bariniti Chopra is jetting across the continents and it seems that the girl is having a ball. With no films in her kitty, only a couple of ads, it's time for some should they see romance in her life. Only this time, the setting is not so they see after all. A source close to Bariniti says that a couple of weeks ago, she was in New York to attend a gala dinner. And once she wrapped up her commitments in the US, she made time for an engagement of a different kind. Um, yep, you guessed exactly right. While she's never opened up about her relationship with director Mani Sharma, the duo who are actively back dating each other spend some cozy time in beautiful Rome. They had briefly parted ways when Manish did not cast her in the Shah Rukh Khan star a fan, but like they say, takrar bina pyar adura hai. Our source let out that Manish had some recording work in Rome and he decided to mix work with pleasure. But like all good things must come to an end, the curtains are down on this holiday. Bayaniti is back in Mumbai now and was spotted shooting for an ad at Filmistan Studios. In other news, congratulations are in order for the Chopras. It's confirmed that the stork is visiting Rani Mukherjee and Aditya Chopra. Rumours about Rani's pregnancy have abounded over the last few weeks. And 9xc.com The Show had told you as early as last month that the actress is indeed expecting her first child with filmmaker husband Aditya. The actress's sister-in-law Jyoti Mukherjee has confirmed the news that Rani is pregnant and the baby is due in January. The two had tied the knot in a discreet ceremony in Italy back in April 2014. Rani and Adi were spotted in London last month where the actress was even seen getting a prenatal massage at a spa and this is what sparked the pregnancy rumours. Rani's last film was Pradeep Sarkar's Mardani which hit theatres in August 2014. We are sure she'll be off screen for a year or two but until then we shall miss you Rani but congratulations once again. Join in on the wishes guys and tweet to us at 9 xc the show using hashtag congratulations Rani or talk to us on facebook.com slash 9 xc Coming up, Ranbir leaves Sujit Sirkar high and dry. Amitabh Bachchan's Twitter account is hacked. Welcome back to 9xc.com, the show, your source for everything Bollywood. So Ranbir Kapoor has had a bad patch at the box office, precisely a hat-trick of flops with Besharam, Roy and Bombay Velvet. But things are looking up for the dude with interesting projects like Tamasha and Jaga Jasus. Ranbir had earlier confessed to 9xc.com the show about the insecurity he is experiencing after the three back-to-back -back debacles. But it looks like the actor is still not sure what to sign and what to discard. 9xc.com has it that the Ye Javani He Diwani star recently made a well-known director run from pillar to post for two full months before deciding not to do his project. First told him ha, then na, and continued playing kabhi ha, kabhi na. The director in question is none other than Sujit Sirkar, who made the unforgettable Piku with Bachchan and Deepika. Can you be that? We wonder what makes Ranbir so unsure about working with Suji. Any actor would jump at such an opportunity, right? Anyway, such is life in Bollywood peeps. And in another story, social media is fast becoming one of the best ways for celebs to keep in touch with their fans. Whether it's Instagram, Twitter or Facebook, everyone who's anyone has their presence online. Ye social media ek nai dunya dosto aur is nai dunya ke sabse exciting account hai Amitabh Bachchan ka. But even the superstar of the millennium faces problems running and maintaining his much followed and much loved Twitter account. Big B's account was hacked a few days ago and he took to Twitter to clarify. T1980. Whoa, my Twitter handle hacked. Sex sites planted as following. Whoever did this, try someone else, buddy. I don't need this. Well, everyone knows that Amita is quite diligent and careful about what his Twitter account says. The actor even numbers his tweets. 
But Amitabh's Twitter fans came out in support and told him not to worry about it at all. At Mansi underscore Luka at Senior Bachchan, whoever did this is crazy. It's pathetic. Ignore and unfollow them. Some also offered him help in finding out the person or persons behind the hacking. Nidhi Gaur at FMXT underscore Nidhi at Senior Bachchan. Oh, do you want us to find the hacker, sir? I am in IT and can trace the IP. Well, we hope that the hackers are caught, and isn't it time that the mischief mongers of social media are given their share of punishment? Anyway, moving on, this week sees the release of Welcome Back, the sequel to the smash hit Welcome. Our movie buffs caught up with the movie in theaters, and here's our take on it. What's up? My name is Prabhu Daima, and I am back after watching Welcome Back. And the film's cast is very vast. First, we talk about John Abraham. Ki. Now, John Abraham has come to the big screen for a long time. He's taken like a long sabbatical. He's back. Back. Is he back with a bang? I don't know. Action sequences उन्होंने बहुत बढ़िया किए, but comedy I don't think is his forte. And but it's it's a treat to watch him dance. और उनके साथ है नसीरुद्दीन शाह जो एक अंधे डॉन का रोल प्ले कर रहे हैं. Now the whole movie I just kept hoping कि वो ऐसे चश्मा निकालेंगे और बोलेंगे हाँ हाँ मैं अंधे होने का acting कर रहा था just like Mora. But no that didn't happen. और अब हम बात करेंगे welcome और welcome back के तीन पिलर्स की जिनके बलबूते पर ये दोनों फिल्में चली हैं नंबर वन परेश रावल ब्रिलियंट कॉमिक टाइमिंग ही इज अ ट्रीट टू वॉच ऑल दो वो घुंगरू सर वो ये ये करना पूरे पिक्चर में भूल ही गए वो मेरी एक शिकायत है यार नहीं पसंद नहीं आया अनिल कपूर एज मजनो भाई मतलब मतलब 2007 थाउजेंड सेवन वॉज वेलकम दिस इज टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन इट्स लाइक लिटरली वहां से उठाकर इस आदमी को यहां रख दिया है ही इज दैट बैंग ऑन विद द कैरेक्टर एंड इट इज ऑलवेज अ ट्रीट टू वॉच हिम और इस मूवी के करता धरता जिसके कंधे पे ये पिक्चर चलती है नाना पाटेकर दैट मैन कैन डू एनी थिंग वो अब तक छप्पन हो या वेलकम हो या वेलकम बैक हिज कॉमिक टाइमिंग हिज सीरियस रोल्स वो ही इज अ ट्रीट टू वॉच अब बात करते हैं फिल्म की नाउ वेलकम जो फिल्म थी उसका मैं बहुत बड़ा फैन हूं तो जब मैंने वेलकम बैक देखी आई वॉज डिसअपॉइंटेड मुझे शुरुआत पसंद आई आई लाइक इट बिकॉज आई गॉट टू सी देम ऑल ओवर अगेन और उनके हर एक लाइन पर कि कंट्रोल उदय कंट्रोल और भगवान का दिया हुआ सब कुछ है मेरे पास मैंने सब एंजॉय किया बट बाय द एंड ऑफ द मूवी इट वाज स्ट्रेच आउट सो मच ऐसा लगा कि मतलब टू मेनी कुक्स पॉइल द ब्रॉथ वाली सिचुएशन हो गई थी जहां पर ऐसा लगा कि चले थे बिरयानी बनाने और बन गई खिचड़ी सो ऑन द हॉट स्लॉट आई गिव वेलकम बैक विदी हार्ट टू थम्स ऑफ थ्री थिंग्स वी लर्न फ्रॉम दिस फिल्म नंबर वन अगर कोई आधी रात में आपका गला दबाने के लिए आता है तो क्विकली उल्टा सो जाओ मतलब पैर की जगह सर सर की जगह पैर वो आपका गला पैर समझकर दबाएगा आपको मसाज हो जाएगा और आप मरोगे भी नहीं सो स्मार्ट नंबर टू गुण और गन दोनों की स्पेलिंग सेम है एंड नंबर थ्री दुबई के रेगिस्तान में भी मां संतोषी का आशीर्वाद बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग है बस बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग है तो ये थी मेरी विशेष टिप्पणी ऑन वेलकम बैक याद रहे मैं मूवी क्रिटिक नहीं हूं क्योंकि मुझको आता है ठेंगा लिटरली मैं हर हफ्ते आपको ठेंगे दिखाता हूँ टू ठेंगे थ्री ठेंगे गेट इट ऑन दैट ऑन दैट ब्यूटीफुल पीजे मैं आपको मिलूंगा अगले हफ्ते तब तक के लिए बाय बाय कमिंग अप आदेश श्रीवास्तव क्रिटिकल कचीना रणबीर टू शेयर इंटीमेट मोमेंट्स इन लंदन Welcome back to 90c.com the show where we have more Bollywood gossip and news for you. In some rather sad news, music composer Adi Shrivastav is battling for his life in Gokila Ben Ambani Hospital in Mumbai. We spoke to his close friend and brother-in-law Lalit Pandit from the music composer duo team and he sounded emotionally torn to talk about Adi's deteriorating health. He's sleeping day by day now. He's got multiple myeloma. He doesn't talk a lot. Hmm. He's very, very, very weak because um, because of the huge medicines that go inside him. Adish has been hit by a relapse of multiple myeloma, a cancer of plasma cells, which causes a collection of abnormal plasma cells to accumulate in the bone marrow. Adish has been in the hospital for the last forty days. डॉक्टर सर से इनकी इन द बेस्ट ऑफ द इंजेक्शन अमेरिका से इंजेक्शन मंगाए थे आदेश को 
Mm. They were hoping that they would work, mm. but they have not worked, and uh, the cancer uh, or बढ़ते ही गया है मतलब. When cancer first struck Adesh in 2010, most Bollywood colleagues chose to stay away from him. Adesh who has given us hits like Sona Sona Shava Shava Gustakia and Gurnalo Ishq Mita among many others even told a section of the media falling ill so suddenly was traumatic but the cold shoulder treatment i got from the people with whom i've closely worked with for years has caused me even more damage than the disease itself Adesh had bounced back from the illness in 2010 but no one would have anticipated a relapse we wish the family well and our prayers are with the shivastavs isn't it a dream to get the amazing ritik roshan and the oh so gorgeous sonam kapoor in the same frame while well, bhushan kumar ahmed khan and yo yo honey singh succeeded in doing just that when they unleashed the remake of their classic dheere 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 is another chart buster from that movie that more or less shaped the 90s for bollywood fans ashiki what i remember is going completely crazy about uh, the entire album of uh, the film ashiki and it kind of became a rage at that time and dheere dheere i remember was one of my favorite songs well, uh, i was 4 years old uh, when the song came out so I, i don't have much of a memory but i love like retro music and so whenever i heard it when i was like a bit older i really really loved the song and i and i thought um, um anu agarwal i think she was yeah and i thought she was really styled beautifully in the in the film rithik looks his dapper self and sonam took on a chirpy avatar aur pure gaane ko tadka mara hai rithik ke awesome dancing skills ne the song has definitely brought in a whole new fan base for 90s music and we are sure that this is just the beginning and this time we have not one but two 90s frames moments for you guys Here is how it all went down. 90xc.com had told you in our previous episode on Wednesday that Katrina was packing her bags for London. She will be shooting for Karan Johar's co-production Bar Bar Deco where she shares screen space with Siddharth Malhotra. Her boyfriend Ranveer will soon be shooting for Karan Johar's return to the director's chair A Dil Hai Mushkil in London and the lovebirds have decided to make the most of this outdoor schedule. Let us remind you that they have informed the respective producers of their films to put them in the same hotel. And whoa, we caught Katrina making her way to the airport on her way to London. There she goes. Well, here's wishing Katrina and Ranbir a fun filled outdoors. So Kajal and SRK have been in the news after their photos from the Dilwale shoot have splashed everywhere. Well, now the duo have wrapped up the shoot and Kajal made her way back to Amchi Mumbai. We have pictures of SRK and Kajal on their Dilwale shoot. Join in on the conversation about the timeless pair of SRK and Gajal. Tweet to us at 9xc the show using hashtag #timelessgajalsrk or talk to us on facebook.com/9xc. And that's all we have for you guys in this episode of 9xc.com the show. But follow us on Facebook and Twitter at facebook.com/9xc and at 9xc the show to get all your updates on Bollywood. Don't forget to visit our website 9xc.com for more Bollywood updates and view our entire episodes on YouTube. I'll see you guys next week. Ciao.